So I have a nice little treat for you guys today. And when I mean little, I mean little. So this is something that I recently came across that I got my hands on. And it is a Ruger LCP2 chambered in 22 long rifle. The sighting system on this thing, I'm gonna go ahead and say it right now. The sighting system on this thing is a little archaic. Um, it is what it is. I would have had light. I would have liked to see some adjustable sights on this thing because at this distance, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to aim the, maybe an inch or two over the top of the plates. <clears throat> Very small. Trigger's good. I will give it that. The trigger is good. Very decent brake on it. I don't want to dry fire it because it's not good to dry fire 22s. <clears throat> but you just see how small it is. I got rather large hands <clears throat> and that's how it looks. Even with the magazine inserted, you still don't have much real estate. This is pretty much for a female or a child to shoot and learn off of. It doesn't have a ton of recoil and it's not too loud. So I got four different type, five, I have five different types of ammo. So, have some of that crappy Federal like I was shooting in the other 22. The CCI Stingers. CCI Mini Mag. This stuff scares me, so I'm only gonna shoot a little bit of it because I had some of that stuff to put a rubber projectile down the end of my 1911 22 and I'm a little afraid of that stuff. And then I have some subsonic Aguila. I forgot to bring the segmented ammo. We're just gonna see how it actually runs and performs with this different ammo. See what can knock this plate down because the last time I was here, I couldn't get, I couldn't get the ammo that I was running to knock the plates down. And that's even if I can get it to hit this time. So let's try to see if we can get one of these things to get one of these bullets to actually knock that plate down because we're looking at a maybe an inch and a half barrel. So okay. it's not much. Inch and a half, I say two inches, a two inch barrel. So let's see if we can get this thing to knock the barrel down, if we can hit the plate. That's that crappy federal for you. I did not do that on purpose. I did not send that other round off on purpose. I don't know what went on just now. She struck uh, pretty fast off of it, but that is low power federal. So now let's try some CCI mini mag. So as you see, the sound signature wasn't that bad off of it. The recoil is not that bad off of it. Even with being a short barrel like that, most guns, if you shorten them down an inch, you're all over the place. Now, if I would have picked that pistol up whenever I first got it and tried to hit that plate, it would have been a no-go. Load. These CCI mini mags are running 1260. So we'll do the red box Winchester after that because we're gonna step it up and then we're gonna go back down to the subsonics. <clears throat> The controls on it are fairly decent. The safety is a little sticky on it, but uh, the slide release is it's, it's good. So let's see if we can knock a plate down on the left and see if we can still continue to hit. That is a lot louder. I don't know if it's translating over to the camera, but I'm feeling a fireball on my left hand. So uh, I have to keep my hand away from the front of that barrel because I can feel that fireball. And 
even with the CCI Mini Man. That's probably the third CCI Mini Man that I've had not go off. And I've shot maybe 3,000 rounds of that stuff. And that's the third or fourth one that failed to ignite. I can definitely feel the fireball and the heat coming from that round. So it's got me a little sketch about the CCI Stingers. So we're stepping up speed to see which ones we can get to actually knock that plate down with this very short barrel. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna be a huge fireball coming out of this thing now. Well, I don't know, not with this, probably the same as the other one. So, I'm wondering, it's the first round of every magazine that I'm putting in. I wonder if it's actually pist the pistol now, because there's no way that that should be coming out of every single box like that. Let's see what she's gonna do now. That has a little more kick. It may be that crappy Winchester again. I don't like running Winchester as far as the 22. I don't even like the Winchester white box nine mil because that stuff is god awful too. I mean, Winchester, they have some quality control issues. So we'll, we'll just have to see what, how it progresses. As, how, we'll, we'll see how it goes as it progresses. Insert her in. Slide release is positive. Let's go for her again. And we'll find out what's going on if this doesn't run this first round. It ran it, so it may have been the ammo. May have. It did not pick up that second round, so I had to run, clean and brush through it, make sure we were clear. I did see a projector, but that doesn't mean anything. That's a fireball. See? Same thing again. I'm gonna try one more round, and if it doesn't run it, we shut down the CCI stinger. I don't know what was going on with that. It ran all 10 of those, well nine, but actually ran the eight remaining out of it. And now on to the subsonics. And this is the Aguila this is 1025, so pretty much like the crappy Winchester that I put in there. But a Gila tends to have a little more reliable round in my experiences. I love the 9mm, uh, the higher power Aguila 22. That works very well. It's just that every time you get these kind of coated 22s, they tend not to run well in pretty much anything you put them in. It just doesn't really matter who makes them. If they have that kind of uh, lead tip to it, they don't run that way.
But I will say this, it's not too warm. I will say this, the lower powered stuff actually gives you better accuracy out of the smaller uh, frame, smaller barrel pistols, pretty much any kind of rifle or pistol, handgun, whatever you want to call it, it pretty much gives you better accuracy. <sighs> so let's see if these run. Same problem again. Well, that was a failure. Gosh, it fed, but and it won't fire without a magazine in. Yeah, as I figured. As I figured with this subsonic stuff, kind of figured it wouldn't have enough ump behind it to get the slide to go home. Did it that time. Nope. Yeah, it's just not picking up another round. It's not enough. It's not enough behind it. Yeah, that stuff stinks. Yeah, I mean, it could be a magazine issue. Could be that it's breaking in because it is brand new. This is the second time of me firing it. So that's one, two, three, four, five. That's 50 rounds that's been through it. I chalked that up to it breaking in. And uh, we have one more set of ammo. And this is uh, another round, another batch of that crappy federal. So let's see how this performs. Fade here, Jack. If you have to use this pistol, <laughs> I wouldn't use this pistol. <laughs> I mean, it goes off every now and then. But the reliability to this all depends on your ammo, how you're holding it, because, I mean, it's just so many variables. When you're dealing with a subcompact 22, it's so many variables in it. I would not use this if you're going to use it for self-defense. I can see on the range because I have time to manipulate everything. I definitely would not use this. Aesthetics of it, it looks good. The trigger feels good. The safety feels good. It's just a little sticky because it's new. The magazine release, I wish every single gun did that because that would be phenomenal. It's just that I cannot get behind shooting something like this for self protection. There's so many variables that could go wrong. I would not do it. I mean, it's a decent pistol. I'm chalking a lot of this stuff up to it and I'm being lenient to it. I'm chalking a lot of stuff up to it for the break in and ammo because even that that crappy federal i couldn't get it to run it too much or nothing i mean the tx2 may run it but you can only take that thing so far because if you got bad ammo it's like putting bad gas in a car if you got bad ammo it's not going to run my overall impressions for this mm, 
man, I'm gonna have to give this thing a crisp five out of 10. I mean, they got an A for effort as far as the magazine release. It's a good idea, but it just doesn't run. I mean, you seen that for yourself. I, whether it's attributing it to a lot of the problems with the ammo, it just doesn't run. You don't know if your first shot is gonna go off or not. And, and in the hands of unexperienced people, that's a no-go. You need something to go off every single time. If you're gonna get something this small, I would suggest getting a 380 model of this. Maybe the Centerfire will help out a lot. This 380 shouldn't be too much more recoil as this. I will say the slide is good and easy to manipulate. I mean, you can act the slide with your pinky finger. So with that being said, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. But before you go, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Send this thing out to the algorithm so we can grow this channel so I can bring you guys some more content like this. I'll see y'all fellas in the next one. And lady.